North Carolina is familiar with the names Fayetteville and Pettigrew Street. Here in the center of Negro dirt, more commonly called Hayti, the lifeblood of the community is represented in this busy populace, going vigorously about their daily activities. Farther down Fayetteville Street, another heartbeat of Hayti lies in its college life. Here at North Carolina College, approximately 1,500 students and the faculty and staff of 128 make up the teeming activity of this institution. Since its meager beginning in 1910, North Carolina College has grown to a 3,500,000 old. Today, it boasts an A rating with the American Medical Association, the North Carolina State Department of Education, and the Southern Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools and is one of the four Negro colleges in the United States approved by the Association of American Universities. Dr. James Edward Shepard was its founder and first president. After his death in 1947, Dr. Alfonso Elder became its second president. With a past record of accomplishment in educating the youth of this state, North Carolina College looks forward to even greater achievements in the future of the college and its students. <laughs> Back on Fayetteville Street again, we are reminded that Hayti is almost completely self-sufficient in her shopping facilities. Busy housewives find the variety of business enterprises here a great asset in helping them complete their shopping chores. In clothing, both men and women find smart tailoring at Rowland and Mitchell Tailors. Fine fabrics plus superior workmanship combine to keep Durham's businessmen and college students well-clad. A large assortment of styles and patterns will please the most discriminating customer. When clothes are soiled, there is a convenient cleaner where they will be promptly and carefully restored to their original beauty. The Royal Cleaners, a familiar name to housewives and particular dressers in Durham, has served this community faithfully and well since first established. There is no excuse for unkept clothing when you have the splendid service of this cleaner to depend upon. An essential service to Hayti's business and social life is that of the service printing company. Whether for large orders on job printing or small personal orders, service printing is adequately equipped to produce fine results. You will find many beautiful homes in Hayti, from the large, pretentious ones on beautiful shaded lawns to the smaller, neat bungalows. There vibrates a wholesome substantiality which gives this community a fine dignity. While Negro Durham has many fine homes already established, hundreds more are springing up in the community. Perhaps most outstanding in this new building era is the name Berry Company Incorporated, one of Durham's more progressive businesses. Since first organized, they have contributed substantially to the physical improvement of this area by erecting numerous buildings and homes. Through careful planning and skilled workmanship, 
The Berry Company is helping to build this vicinity beautifully and durably, as it so well deserves. Of course, after these homes are built, they must be furnished, too. Here at Baldwin's Furniture Store, a complete stock of lovely home furnishings is available at prices to fit the individual's pocketbook. Mr. Baldwin, the owner and operator, has your interest at heart when he stocks his store with these fine pieces to suit your every need and desire. Many Hayti merchants have outside interests as well as their own businesses. The Baldwin Farm reflects one of them. Here, the ownership of fine horses and hundreds of acres of rich farmland once more established Negro Durham substantiality. Numerous services are required to carry on the home life of any community. In Hayti, you will find this variety well represented. Durham housewives have found the use of your own service laundry a boon to dreary wash days. Just bring your wash in and let these busy machines do the rest while you relax in the friendly atmosphere of the laundry's surroundings. For those electrical appliances that lift the burden of many household chores, the supply agency has them. In these busy days, you can't have enough of these time-saving devices. Skilled repairmen in their radio repair department can bring new life to worn radios, too. Rounding out the diversified business in the shopping area, there is a splendid home-owned food center, Smith's Grocery. Every item purchased is exceedingly fresh and of good quality. Western meat, daily fresh vegetables, a variety of staple and canned goods, fresh produce and fish make shopping here a real pleasure. At the donut shop in the heart of the business district, wholesome meals are served from an immaculate kitchen. These tasty and tempting desserts are the delight of all who dine here. heart and soul of Hayti lies in its church life. It provides a wonderful medium for newcomers to get acquainted and teaches all the value of helping the other fellow. This lesson, instilled in us in the cradle classes, remains through a lifetime. It is your moral and civic obligation to support your church, for without our church life, we would have no community. The progressive business spirit and civic-minded interest of Negro Durham is typified in J.C. Scarborough's enterprises. Owner of Scarborough Hargett Funeral Home, Mr. Scarborough founded this business out of a need for such services for his people. No doubt this same motive instigated the establishment of the Southern Fidelity Mutual Insurance Company, one of Negro Durham's largest enterprises. 
While the company was founded to serve the people, it also serves as an ideal standard of good business methods in Hatai. The systematic and efficient methods of office routine in serving the public make Southern Fidelity Mutual Insurance a credit to its people and the business life of this community. The Scarborough Nursery School was established in 1925 and dedicated to the needs of children by Mr. Scarborough, who also donated the building which houses this benevolent institution. A definite schedule is followed in the school, providing a balanced program of outdoor and indoor play, as well as music, storytelling, and handicraft activities. The school provides primary education on cooperative citizenship, manners, courtesy, and cleanliness. Two weekly visits of a public health nurse, plus the state-required vaccinations, and the rigid health interest of the entire staff and board members keep the school almost completely immune to contagious diseases. And though the school serves primarily the needs of children, it provides at the same time an opportunity for mothers to work, thus raising family incomes and standards of living throughout the community. The Durham Business and Professional Chain, composing a far-sighted group of business and professional men, is keenly interested in the welfare, progress, and improvement of this community. They work diligently for better living conditions, a higher standard of living, increased educational facilities, and a greater school enrollment. They seek more and better employment resources in an effort to stamp out domestic delinquency. They constantly urge cooperative citizenship among both Negroes and whites and work earnestly for a better community for all. Another enterprising business is that of the Union Insurance and Realty Company. Here, too, modern business methods enable the company to better serve their clientele. Truly a service for the people, the whole function of the organization is so arranged for the convenience of its customers. A substation post office located in the building rounds out this complete business service. One of the community's many downtown resources is the Biltmore Hotel. Its friendly atmosphere, comfortable rooms, and fine foods offer an inducement for transients to return often to Hatai and the Biltmore. Under the direction of a proficient management, its thoroughly trained personnel is ever ready to accommodate their guests. Intercity travel in Durham has become expedient through the services of the Taxi Cab Owners Association. This large enterprise comprises the use of some 50 cabs owned by nine of Negro Durham's leading businessmen under the direction of James T. Hawkins, who serves as its president. Naturally, the key word in this organization is service. You will always find the drivers reliable and courteous, and their cabs dependable and safe. It's a pleasure to know you can rely on such splendid accommodations for quick, safe travel about your city.